When Vladimir Putin met Angela Merkel, he knew her weakness. The German Chancellor was afraid of dogs, so Putin whistled in a black Labrador just to intimidate her. Putin is in the intimidation business. He learnt the lessons early. Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin was born on October 7, 1952 in Leningrad, now St. Petersburg. His father fought in the Red Army in World War II. His grandfather was a cook for Stalin and Lenin. The young Vladimir eventually studied law and became a spy joining the KGB, the Soviet intelligence service, in his early 20s. In the 1980s, he served in East Germany and saw the Berlin Wall fall. Two years later, the Soviet flag was lowered for the last time in Red Square. The Cold War had ended, but Putin's political career was only beginning. He would call the collapse of the Soviet Union the greatest geopolitical catastrophe of the 20th century. Not that he pines for a return of communism, but he dreams of restoring Russian glory. Putin was an advisor to the mayor of Leningrad. Later, in the 1990s, he moved to Moscow. New Russian leader Boris Yeltsin promoted him to deputy chief of presidential staff, then the head of the FSB, Russia's spy agency. Yeltsin appointed Putin his successor. By 2000, Yeltsin had resigned and Putin was president. He has been in power ever since, either as president or prime minister. What drives Vladimir Putin? He is the man of action, quick to show off his physique, on horseback, in the snow, ice skating, the black belt in judo. He dreams of Russian glory. He has turned away from Europe, wary of NATO expansion. As more and more nations have joined NATO, he has pushed back. In 2008, he invaded the former Soviet state of Georgia to prop up two breakaway provinces. In 2014, he annexed Crimea, redrawing the borders of Europe. At the same time, he has expanded Russia's reach, intervening in the Syrian civil war, propping up the besieged leader Bashar al-Assad. It is said he is consumed with vengeance against the West. He senses his moment, believing the West is weak. He has drawn closer to China, signing a new no-limits pact with Xi Jinping. Vladimir Putin believes he is a great man of history. Now in Ukraine, he seeks to bend the world to his will.